Welcome to Lesson 6. In the last tutorial, you saw the additional maps and weather tracking layers that are available when you upgrade to the full retail edition of Weather Defender. Now we will take that a step further with map customization. In the retail edition of Weather Defender, you will be able to unlock maps and access our full catalog of weather imagery to create the perfect map one that fits your every need because it is designed by you and for you using the tools available in Weather Defender. Here's how it works. Starting with the summer weather map, we can simply unlock it by clicking the padlock at the top of the map layers window. Now we are free to rearrange the layers or add new ones. You may also edit settings for individual layers. Here we are assigning a different color palette to the default radar image. You may also build your own maps from scratch. To do this, click New Map on the Shield menu. Starting with a blank slate, we can add weather and geographic layers of our choosing using the Layer Browser. To open the Layer Browser, click the Add Layer button on the Map toolbar. The Layer Browser presents you with the full catalog of weather and geographic layers available in Weather Defender. Layers are organized into categories, as shown. Clicking on a category title will display a listing of individual layers and allow you to add them to your map. First, let's add some basic weather graphics, like radar. The radar category contains several options. You may add local radar images by using the radar selector here. Or you may add one of the other radar options. We'll add the National Composite Radar by clicking Add to Map next to its image. Layers that are added will be displayed in the Map Layers window and will automatically self-update on schedule to ensure you always have the most current weather graphics. Next, let's add some severe weather graphics. Each listing in the Layer Browser describes what the layer does and how often it updates. You can add any layers in the Layer Browser to your map by clicking the Add to Map button. Finally, let's add some geographic layers for visual reference. Under the Geography section, click Roads, Rails, and Pathways. Scroll to Highways and Interstates and click Add to Map. Now your blank map has been customized with the exact weather and geographic layers you want. If you have access to GIS data and want to import your own data sets, you may do so using the Add Layer from Disk option. Weather Defender is compatible with dozens of GIS formats, including shapefiles, KML, and GML. Refer to the online documentation for a full review of GIS integration. Once added to your map, layers may be rearranged in any order using the Map Layers window. Simply click and drag a layer button above or below another button to move the layer up or down in the visual stack. In the Map Layers window, the topmost layer is the first layer you see on screen. Rearranging layers lets you create the optimal view for your weather and geographic data. Layers can also be organized into groups. Click the Add Group option on the Map toolbar to create a new group. Once created, use the Map Layers window to drag layers into your new group. Groups of layers may also be rearranged in the same way by clicking the group and dragging up or down. This concludes Lesson 6 and our preview of map customization in Weather Defender. As you can see, Weather Defender is a powerful tool that can make you better informed, better prepared, and more knowledgeable about the hazards that threaten you and those you care about. With features like map customization, the possibilities really are endless.